Hey, what is up, you guys? WWE fan 0599 here again. And today we're going to review Season 1 of Arrow. So, Season 1 of Arrow is basically, you know, about. Oh, hold on. Before we get into this review, um, if you didn't read the title, heavy spoilers. There are going to be tons and tons of spoilers. So if you have not seen season one, go watch it, okay? And yeah, so don't watch this review if you have seen it. And if you just don't care about spoilers, continue on watching, okay? So yeah, just wanted to let you guys know, heavy spoilers. Alright, back to the review. So, season one is really about just Oliver Queen. He was stuck on an island for five years. He gets rescued, and now he's trying to... He has to name off these... You know, he's got he's got to name off these guys on his father's list that, that he gave to him on the boat. And before, before he went on to the island. So, and now... Oliver is gonna take down all these guys that are poisoning his city. So that's what basically season one is about. And what did I think of season one? Season one is a good season. I really enjoyed this season. It has its few problems, but we'll get into those after. Let's talk about the positives. The positives are, you know, some of the characters. We have, you know, Oliver Queen slash Green Arrow. He is awesome. Really, I really enjoyed the guy who plays um, Green Arrow, I think he's really perfect for, perfect for Green Arrow, I think he really gets him down, gets him down to the nail, you know, he really, he really gets the character, he's awesome as Green Arrow, you got Diggin, or Duggan, or Dig Diggle, I think, was the bodyguard, um, really enjoy his character, you know, I really enjoyed that, the fact that he was going after Deadshot, you know, because he killed his brother, it it was it was nice. It was cool to see that he wanted to get his revenge, and he was a cool character. Yeah, Felicia, who is probably my favorite woman that's on the show, because let's be honest, really, there's not too many that are really that good. But we'll get into that after. And Felicia's just really a really awesome person in the show, and she, you know, she's a basically a computer computer, you know, computer hacker, she helps with, with, um, Oliver and Diggle with, with the whole situations, and, yeah, Diggle and, uh, Felicia, Felicia find out about, uh, that, find out that Oliver is Green Arrow, sorry, spoiler, I'm just kidding, but, um, you know, and it's cool, and it's cool to, uh, you know, see them working together. I like their little team. It's awesome to see. Um No, you got who who was it? Striker? I no, not Striker. Um Ah, man, I forgot his name. I'll get back to it after, but um you got Tommy who at first I thought he was just going to be the funny best friend to Oliver. I was like, "Oh, goodness, no." But his I let he was probably, he's not my favorite character, Oliver is, but he was probably my favorite developed character, because his character really gets developed in this show, and, you know, you see him going by being the funny, goofy best friend to, like, this serious guy, and it's cool to see his transformation, and it's kind of, it's like, it's kind of sad that he died this season, and, you know, um, and I, I'm like, I just... I just started to like you as a character, and now you're dead, you know, but what are you gonna do, um, also, you know, um, another character I really liked was, um, was, uh, um, the guy that had the bow and arrows before, that was helping with, uh, Oliver on the island, I forgot his name, but I really enjoyed his character too, he was he was cool up until he betrayed him, but now he's dead too. I mean, everybody's dying this season, but you know it was cool to see his character. He he was cool. Um, now 
let's just get into the negatives of this show. Um, sometimes the writing of this show would be very sloppy at times. Like, yeah, some of it didn't make sense at times. Really, it really took me out of the show sometimes because of the writing. And, um, some of the characters like, uh, Laurel. Ugh, I can't stand Laurel. Laurel's, like, one of the worst characters I have ever seen on a TV show. I just can't stand Laurel. She's boring. She's such a dull character. It's like you don't even care about her. I just want her to get off screen every time. Oh, yeah, also, another pos a positive I had was, um, was, um, the tech was was the dad the detective he was he was cool i even though he wanted to take down Lawler, he was still cool he was he was a really interesting character to me so yeah um but lol man oh um thea who is oliver's sister didn't really care for her i'm being honest i i didn't she i i i, I could really care less about her character she really was not an interesting character to me, probably up until the last episode, but, but, you know, they just throughout the other, other episodes in the season, she really was not a good character. Um, you know, and a, a negative I have is that, um, remember when Walter got cap, got, um, captured, you know, taken? They spent a couple of episodes on it, and then they, like, forget about it for the next couple of episodes until episode 21. Like, how are you going to forget that Walter is missing? How are you going to forget about that? Shouldn't you worry about that? Not until, until like, the 21st episode to, to worry about it again? What? You know, that made no sense to me, and that was just, why did they do that? That just makes no sense. I mean, why? Why would you do that? Um... You know, so yeah. Um, you know, the really guys, the last two episodes of this season are probably the best season, the best of this season, and and it's really cool. You know, those last two episodes, I really enjoyed them. Also, Deathstroke is in it. He's in it, but it's not. But I heard heard it's not Deathstroke. Deathstroke. It's like his partner. So yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't know that. I thought it was just Deathstroke. At first, but, but, yeah. Um, so yeah, um, I don't think there's really, um, oh wait, wait, there is, there is. I like, I like the Undertaken story. This Undertaken story, this was an interesting storyline. It was a good storyline, I enjoyed it. The fight scenes, I forgot to mention the fight scenes. The fight scenes are awesome in this show. Really, they are. You know, I really enjoyed these fight scenes. They were cool, especially the one in the season finale. Where um, where uh, uh, Green Arrow's fighting uh, Malcolm. It was cool. Really enjoyed those fight scenes. Well, I guess there's nothing else left to talk about. Is there? If there's any? Oh yeah. Uh, one more thing I forgot. Really, this whole story, the whole storyline. Excuse me. With Laurel, it, her mom and her dad trying to look for Sarah. It, it wasn't really interesting. Like really, you're gonna do this? Uh, you know, I didn't really enjoy that storyline. So, yeah. Um, all, overall, I really enjoyed this season, except for those negatives. But, um, so, yeah, I'm going to give... So, it's time for my official grade on Arrow Season 1. And my official grade on Arrow Season 1 is an A-. minus. It's a good season. I enjoyed this season. So, it's going to get an A-. minus. Really enjoyed it. So, uh, what did you guys think of Arrow Season 1? Leave it in the comments section below. And I'm WWE Fan0599. And we'll see you all later. Peace. Tune in for Arrow Season 2.